Hey guys! As promised, I'm back with another Chrome OS video. A few days ago I was showing you the new method of making a Chrome OS disk image, method that applies for the new released version 94, and probably for all the versions to come. And while we were making the Chrome OS image, we saw that there is also a new way of making a dual boot system with Chrome OS and Windows 11 or 10. I've already tested it, and I was surprised by how easy it is to make a dual boot system now. The easiest method so far, and in this video I will show you how to do it. But first, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel, and click the bell icon so you won't miss any of my future videos. As always, we need to download the Chrome OS recovery image. Here you can choose between Samus, for 3rd gen Intel CPU, Ramus, for 4th to 9th gen, and Voltier for 10th and 11th gen CPU. For AMD processors, you can download Zork for Ryzen 3rd gen, and Grunt for Stony Ridge and Bristol Ridge. Because this is the main issue in the comments, in my next video I will also explain more about CPU compatibility, what works and what not, tips and ideas, and what other options are there if Chrome OS does not work on your device. The next thing you need to download is the Brunch framework. Make sure that you download the latest version and that both the recovery image and the Brunch release share the same number. In this case 94. And the last thing you need to download is Grub2Win. You can download Grub2Win from SourceForge.net, using the link from the description. Once the download is complete, you can extract and install Grub2Win. The installation is pretty straightforward. Just let the setup follow its course. Now it's time to create a partition. Normally, the partition should be on the main drive, where Windows is stored. But in my case, Drive C is an NVMe drive, and always had trouble dual booting Chrome OS on it. So I choose my secondary drive, Drive D, which is an SSD, to create the partition where I'll install Chrome OS on. But if you have an SSD or HDD as primary drive, go on with this step by making the partition on it. To create the partition, right-click on the Start menu and select Disk Management. Here, right-click on the drive you want to shrink and select Shrink Volume, then type in the amount of space you want for the new partition. The partition needs to be minimum 16 gigs. The larger the partition, the more storage space you have in Chrome OS for games and apps. For this tutorial I choose 50 gigs. Now that the partition is done, extract the Chrome OS recovery image from the archive, and open up Ubuntu. If this is your first time in Ubuntu, you need to enter these commands first. And if you already used Ubuntu before, you can start directly with the path command. All the commands can be found in the description, from where you can just copy and paste them in your terminal, and replace everything that needs to be replaced with your details. Now, before executing the last command, I forgot to mention that you need to create a folder in the Chrome OS partition. So go to the Chrome OS partition and create a folder which you name Chrome OS. You can complete now the command with the partition letter, folder name and image size. Make the image as big as the partition. In my case, the partition has 48.7 gigs, so I make a 48 gigs image by typing, dash, s, 48.
Okay. So now we got the message with the two options. Either regular disk image to flash it on USB with Rufus, or to type dual boot if we want a dual boot system. And because dual boot is what we want, we type dual boot and press enter. The next message explains very clear what we have to do. Right click on the start menu icon, select Windows terminal, and run this command. Now copy the output that looks like a serial number, and paste it in Ubuntu. The final set of instructions tells us what we have to do in Grub to win in order to finish the setup. Also, note that Chrome OS will not be bootable, or stable if BitLocker, Fast Startup or Hibernation are enabled. So make sure they are all disabled. The final step is in Grub to win. After opening Grub to win, go to Manage Boot Menu, followed by Add a New Entry. Here, set the type as Create User Section. When selecting Create User Section, a text window will open. Go to the Chrome OS partition, open the file, Chrome OS, .grub, .txt, copy the entire script and paste it in the text window from Grub to Win. Close it and click on Save. Now you can restart your device, and Grub to Win bootloader should appear at boot. From here, you can select either to go on with Windows, or to enter in Chrome OS.